How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you an absolute banger game that I'm taking a first look at. Today, we're taking a look at Republic of Pirates, a city builder set for release on June 19th. And quick shout out to Green Man Gaming for getting me a code for the demo to try out for you guys. You can use my link down in the description to head over there to get yourself a copy once it's available for pre-orders. That would really help me out. All right, so a quick look at the specs you'll need to run this behemoth. You're good to run this as long as you've upgraded your CPU since 2017. Even for recommended, you're good anywhere past 2019. And you're only looking at 6 gigs on your drive, so that's a pretty far cry from your modern AAA 100 plus gig games that make your M.2 weep. Let's start off with your obligatory look through the options to see what we're working with here. It's nice to see there's some options here to play around with. My rig is definitely overkill to run this. The entire time I played, I never dipped below 60 frames. But if you have an older rig, you've definitely got options to tone things down if you need to. Audio options are pretty basic, nothing crazy there, and same with gameplay options. If you play these types of games often, I'd recommend going through and editing some of the shortcuts to what you're used to in the input menu. All right, so heading into the campaign mode, you've got yourself three difficulties to choose from, hard, medium, and easy, and you can see how they affect the game in the lower left over here. You can see where you'll be starting on the map and where the other islands around you are, plus whichever material deposits are present in the area and what the production conditions are. Starting off, you'll find that this does, in fact, have an honest-to-goodness campaign to it. You've got cutscenes and in-game dialogue all fully voiced, so that's nice to see. For a bit more wealth and another day of freedom. Much like Thrall trying to find a home for the new horde in Kalimdor, you have to find yourself a new shore to call home for you and your crew. The controls are pretty par for the course. WASD to move the camera around, middle mouse to rotate it, left click to select and highlight, and right click to interact with things. Picking up flotsam with your ship is a pretty important part of this game, so anytime you're near some, you can just right click to send your ship over to collect it. All right, so the meat of this game is obviously the city building part, and if you've ever played games like Tropico before, you'll feel right at home with this. Your dock is the first thing you'll be able to put down on an island to establish a base there, and huts will come quickly after that. Everything has to be connected to a road, so keep that in mind when you're planning out your layout. As you progress in the game, you're going to need higher ranks of workers. This area in the top center shows each rank of worker and how many of each you have. When you click on a hut, you'll see the needs and wants of the people inside. When you fill all those to 100%, you're able to upgrade it to the next rank for a fee and some materials, getting you the next rank of workers. This is also a big source of income for you as laborers are what generate it and as you fulfill those needs and wants, they'll generate more. As far as the production side of things goes, you're essentially going to have to deal with three parts of the supply chain. You've got your raw material buildings, so your farms and mines and so on. You've got your manufacturing, so your rope maker, sail maker, rum maker, stuff like that and your distributors, which is your depots, with depots being by far the most important part of this. Build a ton of them, at least one per raw material or manufacturing building, because in my experience, they just don't keep up well enough even if it's built directly next to the building they're moving materials from. You can help the bottleneck a little by upgrading the storage capacity of the raw material and manufacturing buildings, but even then, you're going to be needing quite a few depots to keep everything running smoothly. Now, as far as the topic of the laborers themselves go, it doesn't actually matter how far away they are from where they work. They don't physically walk from their hut to their workplace, so you don't have to provide housing nearby like you would in Tropico. The only things the huts actually need to be in the vicinity of are amenities, so your marketplace, your brothel, and so on. Your best bet, as far as efficiency is concerned, is to make something like this. Place down your market, throw a road all the way around it, place down any other amenities you've unlocked, build a road around each of them, and then slap down as many huts as you can fit. Doing it this way, no matter how far away they are from the rest of your settlement, will keep their needs and wants maxed as far as amenities are concerned, 
And as long as you have depots full of the other stuff they need, they'll be happy and ready to upgrade to whichever set of laborers you need. Eventually, you'll have to deal with the Captain's Inn. This is where you'll hire captains to captain the ships that you'll build from your shipyard. It has to be placed on a specific spot on the island, so you'll have to build a road out to wherever that ends up being. You'll have a choice of four different captains, all with different traits that they'll unlock as they level up to 20, 30, and 40. Once you buy a captain, it will be replaced with another one, so you'll have a constant stream of captains to choose from. Speaking of, during combat, your captains will level up fast, so don't be surprised if they get to level 20 quickly. As you progress, you'll unlock larger classes of ships, going from cog all the way to frigate, so keep that in mind when you hire your captains early on. Speaking of your ships, this is a pirate game after all, so let's talk about combat. Each ship class has its own stats and a special ability, which you can use on cooldown. Your ships will attack on their own once they're near an enemy, and the COG, the first ship you'll be able to build, has a scattershot cone that you can use to deal extra damage to ships. Once you destroy a ship, they'll leave flotsam behind that you can grab, and if you have to take a ship back to repair, you can do so once it's anywhere near the dock by selecting repair, and it'll cost you some doubloons and timbers. Eventually, you're going to have to expand to a new island to unlock new materials. To do that, you'll have to wipe out whichever rival pirate has their base on the new island. Build up some ships, send them over, use your abilities on cooldown, and wipe them off the face of the sea. Once you've got them cleared out, all you have to do is build a new dock and start fresh just like you did on the previous island. Keep enough laborers of each tier to keep your production facilities staffed, and it becomes a fun little rinse and repeat system as you hop from island to island and take over the Caribbean. All right, that'll do it for me, everybody. There's your first look at the basics for Republic of Pirates. It really does give off a Tropico feel for me, more than just the setting. As I was playing, I kept drawing similarities between the two, like how the production chain works, the building settings, and how the depots work like the Teamsters from Tropico. It's definitely a simpler system than what you have to deal with in Tropico, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. This is ridiculously accessible and quick to figure out, but you can definitely get deep into the nitty gritty with optimization and efficiency if you want to. Plus, you've got actual combat in this game, so that's a nice twist for the genre. Thanks again to Green Man Gaming for getting this key to me. You can use my link down in the description to head over there to get yourself a copy once it's available for pre-orders. That would really help me out. And if you plan on getting this one, or if you want to see me play more of it, let me know down in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more.